I am Maxine and this is my husband Ken and we are the Reyeses. You have joined Dialogue and Delicacies, the Happily Joined Edition. So today we will be honoring our puppy Lexi. Right, Lexi. So we're joined, we're wearing our t-shirts twinning today, but it's, it's all about our puppy. Um, <laughs> you're smiling at me. So we are going to answer a viewer's question and this viewer is Andrea Everett and she is from Alabama. Her question is, how do you balance being a professional, a spouse, and a parent? Well, it's very easy actually, but it's hard to execute because I mean literally, at least the way I perceived it, uh, there's three main functions, work, family, and self. And so when we was coming up, we kind of followed that model without really even thinking about it, but we saw the question on the, on the, on our, this one was on Facebook, on Facebook, yeah. and we just thought about it and we realized that there was a pattern that happened in our lives that we both actually emulated. Yes. Whether it was me following you or you following me, mm -hmm. uh, it was the same. But, uh, <laughs> but what happened was uh, li literally early in our career, work was the priority. Then came family and we had very little time for self. Because uh, our profession, being in the military, we, we have all this front-loaded training. And in any profession, whether it's school, college, because you know, even school and education is a front-loading part of your career that's based solely around training. And then there's very little time. Then, then if you're married like us, then family. If you're single, then you probably focus more on self. Then you pick up family towards the end. And then it just slowly shifts. Then when we reached the midpoint of our careers, uh, then it kind of shifted to work and family was going more 50-50 because we kind of knew exactly where we was going, our career paths were projected, our potentials kind of, you can kind of see where you're going to max out in your career by then. And then as long as you're happy, then you maintain a work and family life balance. And uh, if you end up single or divorced, I guess you can focus more on self. But you know, those are the three key points. And now that me and Maxine are towards the end of our careers, definitely self is the highest priority, then family, and then work. Because if you think about it, most people have their kids when they're young, so they're about grown at this point. So if they're not teenagers or older, they don't kind of need you. Unfortunately, it breaks my heart to think that one day it's going to happen to me and Victoria. But they don't need you that much anymore. So you can absolutely focus on self, and, uh, and then focus on family, and then as you wind down your career, then work ends up being the lower priority. Right. So, it's priorities, work, family, self, and you just have to establish what's more important in your life, and then that is how you balance it out. Yeah, because it's, it's all up to you. Whichever ones you prioritize, that's what, what's important to you, that's how you're going to make the, 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 the list from one to three, work, family, or self, or if you want to flip it around, whatever it is that, that's more important to you. Um, but for those of you who are just joining us or watching us for the first time, we have been married for 20 years yes. and we are dual military. So both of us have been in the military for 21 years. Yeah, and in, in our line of work, it's savage with work being first and foremost. And it only gets worse the higher you up you go. You're like, you know what? I spent so much time away from my family. Yeah. I'm prioritizing work. And I know I've done that. I mean, you can know, you imagine? I'm, I'm definitely guilty of it. <laughs> can you imagine someone on death yeah. like, oh, what, right before they pass out, my only regret in life is I wish I would have spent more time at work. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to say that. Really, no one's going to say that. <laughs> and especially us, we actually love to be together. We love spending time with each yes. other and spending time with our, our baby girl. So it's, it's always hard for us when we have to put so much time into work um, and make it a priority. But you know, we try our best to balance um, despite the rigorous schedules um, of our career. And we've been doing this for a long time. But you know, whenever you have your priorities, you know, you, you have all these things that you have to do, but you have to make it a priority. Whatever is most important to you, that's how you gotta do it. Um, so you won't live with regrets. So, believe it or not, uh, if you are a workaholic, maybe your balance is work, self, and family. Right. And as long as that's what you want, well, hopefully your partner is uh, in agreement with, with it, you know? <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, um, yeah, for, for us, for me, I love to do uh, certain things, certain hobbies, so I've tried to incorporate my hobbies into oh, work, yeah, yeah. believe it or not. Um, you know, for example. <laughs> for example, I love to sing, 
And so whenever the Army needed me, or when I was in the Air Force, whenever either branch of services I needed my talents, I would definitely uh, capitalize on it, I guess. <laughs> I would make sure that I volunteer my time, and whenever they need me, they so they won't have to pay for someone else to bring someone from the outside um, to sing at the military events. I would be the one to sing. Um, and sometimes it's not even military events. Sometimes it's events that want Christmas. the military to be a part of it. Of it. Certain um, holidays. Certain holidays. Certain like uh, sports, uh, national sports game. I usually sing the national anthem. I'll do it in uniform, and so uh, I will go and represent the military. And I'm also doing what I love. So that's how I got to balance it. Um, have I gotten um, slack? it from some leaders yes but most of my leaders they were in full support of it because I was um, representing them and placing a positive light on, on, the, on the military so for for them it was um, an advantage of having in uniform being out there representing the military none of my hobbies translated <laughs> translated to that I didn't have that luxury so I just had to grind it out while I was at the office but yeah so has it been a challenge? Um, yeah, and Absolutely. will it be a challenge for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but you just have to prioritize and, and submit just to make sure that you and communicate don't have any... to your partner. Yeah. Communicate. This is what's important to me. Yes. If it's work, go get a partner that's gonna be just as busy as you are. Yeah, and just make sure that you don't have any regrets yes. with whatever choice that you make because you have to make and we, choice. And we and uh, we delayed having our first child yes. for a long time, 11 years. 11 years uh, so, after we got married, that's when we had our baby. Before loaded our education, our establishing ourselves professionally and enjoying each other. Yep. You so know. we gave our we gave our um, our employer a lot of our time, really half of our career before we decided to start a family. Right. Yeah. So. And then we kept our family small afterwards. Yeah. Because that's how we were able to spend more time together. Making <laughs> <In> videos. <laughs> no, 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 but you know, just being able to, to split our time between us and then our baby girl. Because the more kids you have, you have to really, it's only oh, yeah. fair to them to give each child um, that direct attention that they need. So especially kids nowadays. So we didn't want to have to worry about that too much because um, it's, it's hard enough having one child and our careers and then having to balance um, being married and you know just spending enough time with each other. So we want to make sure that we gave our child enough attention so we decided to have one and that's good for us it may not be the best thing for you guys but you know that's another choice that you have as well okay. ah, thank you <laughs> and so with that said i hope we answered your question andrea and um you say andrea from alabama andrea from alabama <laughs> and thanks for continuing to support us for following us on our instagram facebook twitter pages oh, our, pin, our pinterest and um our book Happily Joint, The Secret to Relationship Resiliency will be available on our website, happilyjoint.com. And we will be, it will be available for pre-order and it will be out in September. So feel free to go on Happily Joint and um, send us an email and, and go ahead and pre-order. And we appreciate your support. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of these episodes of Dialogue and Delicacies, the Happily Joint Edition. With that said, go forth with courage and grace and may happiness last. Done.